the quick parts command found on the insert tab over here contains many subcategories auto text document property in this assignment we are working with these last two we want to make a, a custom header and we want to turn it into a building block and so the way that we have to do that to get it into the building blocks organizer which has many presets in there we need to get our custom uh, header into there and so we need to use this last one we need to save a selection to the quick part parts gallery so let's uh, do that the custom header that we want to make is the header that is used for MLA research papers so it's a particular uh, technique here so we're going to double click here into this top margin that puts us into our header and footer tools. We're going to press the tab key on our keyboard once, twice. That puts us over here where this right tab is. You're going to put your last name, hit the space bar, and you're going to come over here to the header and footer group and put page number, very important, come to current position, and use the plain number one. All right, so we've we've put this custom header. We've we've created the header itself, but now we need to save it into the Quick Parts Gallery. The way that we're going to do that is we're going to select it, and we have a shortcut right here, Quick Parts. We'll save the selection to the Quick Part Gallery. We're going to name it MLA header and we want it to be in the category with all the rest of the headers. So we're going to choose that one. And then we are going to click OK. And we can exit out of this here or with escape or by just double clicking onto our document and now I will get a new document now by rights I should be going getting a single space document but just for time I'm just going to get this quick one here and I am going to go to the insert command quick parts and to my building blocks organizer and by default this column is sorted and if it isn't all you need to do like if all the cover pages should be together and if they're not you just click at the top of the column on this word gallery and it would sort them in alphabetical order scroll down with your mouse wheel to the headers and there is ours and if you click on it you can see a preview with this text over on the right and we will insert it and there it is and then we can close out so the point is that if you're writing a hundred MLA style research papers that's just a fast way for you to put that header in there I mean, honestly, we would probably make a whole template for this, which yeah, you'll learn how to do that later. But uh, that is one way that you can put a custom header, whatever it is that you choose. If you came and you always wanted, you know, a certain style here, you make it, you select it, you save the selection to the building blocks, and then you can insert it to any document that you you need.